What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So, we're diving into a request from Heidi. This is Heidi's request for, specifically for that 18 months of no alcohol. So, I appreciate you, Heidi. A year and a half of no alcohol is fucking wild for me because of how long I drank and how many times I tried to quit and only made it like days or three months maximum was the longest I ever made it so a year and a half is really wild to me truly it's a blessing to be able to say that I've accomplished that and I couldn't have a better group of people that are supportive and also supportive of each other you guys help each other out you guys have built bonds with each other and I love that I've been able to help you guys have a community where you can do that with each other it really means the world to me that we've been able to accomplish all of that on here i always say we because it definitely certainly is not just me it's all of you guys right i always say that to you guys it's all of you guys you guys are the reason that we're able to do what we do on here and that we're able to have the conversations we have you guys have supported me you've supported each other and you guys are really the biggest backbone this whole operation we got going on here so i couldn't be more blessed and more fortunate than to have an awesome group of people like you here and i appreciate you greatly for that if you're new here hit that subscribe button we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between we break down all the lyrics i go the whole nine yards on that i love the topics of these songs you guys request we get to have a lot of meaningful conversations and get to know each other better i get to provide some advice and some insight from my own personal life experience and the way i relate to these songs and the lyrics in them and i know that that helps out a lot of you guys you guys have come to me many of you and told me that you're grateful and that i inspire you to want to do better inside of your own life and that's all i've ever wanted was to do that for the world that's really all i've ever wanted was to be able to provide that inspiration and through my own success of maintaining sobriety and not falling back into those bad cycles that I would often fall into for my whole life. I've actually been able to get on here and do that with you guys and it's such a damn blessing. So I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you for building this with me. Please go get help if you need it. Live your best life and inspire other people to do the same thing as well. That's what it's all about on here. I love you guys. Heidi, thank you for this request. We got some Olivia Newton-John and some Farnsey for you. I love these two together. This is an Olivia song that Farnsey featured on, and this is a live version of it at the Sydney Olympics. That's what it says, the Sydney Olympics, which is epic as hell. So we're going to get into this for you. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Olivia and John with Dare to Dream. Mmm. The Opera House. Look at this. Lighten the torches. Epic. That is awesome. I hear a didgeridoo, I think. Hmm, the chimes? Okay, just got to start off by saying that that was a beautifully done intro right there. That, those chimes always will get you. Every time, if a chime like that comes out of nowhere, it gets me every single time, man, I swear. Chimes are awesome. They're a nice little touch inside of, like, groovy, like, rainforesty kind of stuff like that i think i might have heard a didgeridoo as well you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i believe i did hear a didgeridoo inside of the mix there 
awesome intro here. Hmm. Man. Oh, what a gentleman. I love their friendship. Like, you can just tell that they were such good friends inside of the music industry, that they definitely always had each other's backs, and that's why they worked together on music, is because of that real-life friendship. That always turns into, like, the greatest kind of collabs, is whenever the artists are actually just kind of friends and cool with each other, outside of music as well, and then they decide to get together and opt they they decide to get together and they play the fucking Olympics. That's what happens. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. I love that. It's just awesome to see their genuine friendship. It's very like gentle and gen gentlemanly about the way that he approaches being on a stage with Olivia all the time. And I love that. I love the energy that they bring to the table with each other. It's so wholesome. Beautiful. Yes. Man. Man. I like the question and answer, but their tone is just so amazing. They have such beautiful tone whenever it comes to the way that they work their voices into a song together and they they work very well inside of like the slow lovey dovey wholesome pocket those are like the ones that they really thrive with each other on from the performances we've seen together by them so far i really love it it's a beautiful energy and it's it's awesome that they did it at the olympics so that's a hell of a place to do it performance like this, seven minutes long. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Man, beautiful right here. Beautiful. The way that their voices complement each other is classic. It's absolutely timeless. Man, I wish we could have got more of this, right? That sucks, man. That sucks. But seriously, the way their voices complement each other is so beautiful. These lyrics are amazing. First off, we'll start there as well. These lyrics are amazing. So motivational and so inspirational. <sighs> wow. I am my own believer in my heart, the reason. I will follow the light from within. I'm not afraid of weakness. I'm gonna taste the sweetness of the power not to give in. I will see it through. Wow. I'm, I will follow the light from within. I'm not afraid of weakness. Mm. Open, that's like almost saying I'm not afraid to open myself up to being vulnerable inside of getting what it is that I feel my life purpose is here. Oh, wow. I'm not afraid of weakness. That is, I'm going to taste the sweetness right there. Damn. 
of the power not to give in, I will see it through. Mm. To give in to the urge to not go through with things, to not actually do it, back out of it because of the the weakness, the vulnerability inside of the situation. Because a lot of dreams that you might have in life can be really bold things. You know what I mean? And some people get close. And when they actually see what it's like where they're trying to end up, they back out because they get scared and nervous. They feel weak. They feel vulnerable. This is saying, no, I'm following the light that's telling me to walk in that direction. I'm not afraid of the weakness and the vulnerability because I'm here for the sweetness and I'm not giving in because I'm going to see it through. I believe this is my moment of truth. Whew. That is fucking beautiful right there beautiful lyrics right here you gotta believe in yourself man you got you gotta believe in it if you're gonna fucking jump better believe that there's fucking a landing right <laughs> that's that's what this is saying basically dare to fly dare to be the ever chosen one to touch the sky dare to dream it says dare to reach dare to rise good lord this is inspirational so, so much said in three word sentences, and I love that. Just three words, dare to be the ever chosen one to touch the sky is a really nice one. Saying you were chosen for what it is that you're going to do in life. Go do it. Dare to be the one that actually does it. So many people feel like they want to and don't. Go do it. That's what it's saying. Find the strength to set my spirit free. Dare to dream man saying be free be free inside of it man Man, the connection is so strong between them musically that they're feeding off of each other literally through physical touch on stage by holding hands and like transferring their energy while singing to each other quite literally and it's creating this masterpiece of vocal harmonies and energy that is so pure and so wholesome this is one of the purest things we've ever had on the channel to be honest this is a very very pure energy going on inside of this performance right here even just the way that they're interacting with each other and everything like that it's really really awesome and I love that they have that with each other in like every performance that we've done by them. They've had that with each other. These lyrics are really beautiful. Like I said, let's see where were we right here on the sheet. Dare to dream. I will go the distance. Embrace resistance. I will lay my soul on the line. Embrace resistance. I've said that on here many times, saying that when people try to resist or stop what it is that you're doing, it probably means that you're doing what you should be doing. So he's saying, I will go the distance, embrace resistance. Wow. I will lay my soul on the line, saying, I'm willing to risk everything about myself. To do what it is that I want to do with this dream. That's what Olivia and Farnsey are saying in this song. This is such a beautiful performance though. Like I said, the energy in it. And you can see how they're like feeding into each other's energy. Just by how they're interacting with each other and everything. I love it. This is a beautiful performance.
Mm. Man. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Look at this right here. This is something right here. Wow. <clears throat> that crowd. I love it. So much just light going on. So much. The crowd is the lighting, right? <laughs> the crowd is the lighting in this performance. I love that. These lyrics, like I said, are very, very meaningful and very inspirational. We had, I will go the distance, embrace resistance. I will lay my soul on the line when the wait is over and the hunger has spoken. If I give my all, I will shine. <laughs> He's saying when the wait is over, once the freaking door is open, right? Once that door has opened and my hunger has spoken, once it's been made known that I'm here for that, I'm going to give it my all and I will shine. He's basically saying you ain't going to have a choice but to recognize. Olivia and John are saying that you ain't going to have a choice but to see the shine. We were talking about that in the last song that we did. Except it was in a different context. I was talking about how if you try to stay inside of the status quo when that's not actually what you believe in and how you think inside of life, it, it's noticeable that you're uncomfortable in the regular status quo. It's very noticeable. And that ties in to this right here. This is about saying, screw the status quo, I'm going after my dreams by any means necessary because I'm hungry and my spirit has spoken. That's what this is right here. Wow. And now my spirit is free and I embrace the resistance. Try to stop me, that's what it's saying. Try to stop me from accomplishing my dreams and doing what I want to do. Please, by all means, I think I'm more hungry than you. That's what this song is saying right here. And not in a, like, conceited or cocky manner, in a very wholesome, chase your dreams and embrace the naysaying and the doubts. Embrace the resistance. Embrace what might try to stop you because it's only going to make you move forward even more and learn even more at the end of the day and also it's going to make people see you go through that and they're going to be like shit this person don't care they just do their thing no matter what anybody does or what steps inside of their way and they just will build a new path alongside it and then walk back on <laughs> walk right around that's the energy that this embodies, and I like that. It's just very pure about daring to actually go for your dreams and have that hunger and let your shine be seen inside of your life with your dreams. I love it. Very positive energy. Hmm. Yes. That's beautiful there. Hmm. Wow. Nice. Wow. Beautiful.
<laughs> wow. The way <laughs> that they performed together is amazing. They just like branched off and went and mingled with everybody and had a good time and then they just meet back right face to face with each other i love it i love the way they orchestrate their performances together it's always just a, a lot of great energy and a lot of positive vibes with the crowd and everything i love these lyrics man i'm just looking at the lyrics I, you guys know i scroll through the lyrics and read them to myself while i'm talking to you guys a lot of the time dare to dream and the heart will shine like the sun a million voices together as one I believe, I believe, I believe. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Dare to dream, dare to fly, dare to be the air, the chosen one to touch the sky. Dare to reach, dare to rise, find the strength to set my spirit free. Man, so beautiful. Find the strength to do what I believe. That is so gorgeous. You have, like I said, you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you're going to be able to go and do what it is that you want to do with your life and dare to actually go out there and face the resistance and break out of the status quo of everything. That's what this is about. Look at all of this beautiful art and beautiful energy that comes out of people that actually dared to go do that. Olivia and Farnsey, right? And that's just two of them. We got so many more besides them. So many more that have dared to dream. It's very beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful song right here. Good luck, everybody, right? I love it. Love it. got an interview <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> Hell yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Beautiful. I love it. This was a really good performance. An amazing song here. Heidi, thank you for this song right here. I really enjoyed this one. Very fitting for what you sent it, the reason that you sent it. And I appreciate you for sending this one through. This is a very great and wholesome song right here. I love Olivia and Farnsey on their performances together. They always have great energy. They always bring a lot to the table. And this is a rare kind of performance. Like they said, them going amongst the athletes and stuff like that. Very much so a rarity when it comes to these kind of things. And you, it's not something that most artists even ever get to do one time. So the fact that both of them got to share that experience together and perform and do it amongst the athletes and everything at the Olympics. That's an epic accomplishment right there. So kudos to them for pulling that one off. Like they said, at the end of the day, John's thinking about not dropping Olivia down the stairs and Olivia's thinking about not falling down the stairs. And that's what goes through a performer's mind. <laughs> 
you sit there and you're enjoying it and you're like this is so like smooth and so epic and you got yourself up there sweating hoping that nothing goes wrong half the time <laughs> that's the life that's the life of it man i really really love this a whole lot so heidi thank you for sending this through it means the world to me that you would send this to me we had a great time reacting to this one and breaking this one down for you. Very wholesome, very meaningful. You don't expect anything else when it comes to a Libya and when it comes to foreign sea. Thank you guys for tuning in. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Foreign Z, subscribe to Olivia, support the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. We relate it to our own lives. And this was just one of those beautiful songs of chasing your dreams and daring to have that passion about it, even when resistance hits you and even when things try to stop you, when things go wrong and when it looks like it might not happen, you have to remain hungry in your soul to know that you're meant to do that and that you can be the person that can bring millions of voices together and have the hearts shine like the sun, as the song says. I love it. Very beautiful right here. Amazing song. Please go get help if you need it for addiction, mental health, all of that stuff. Like I said at the beginning, and like I say in every video, that stuff means a whole lot to me. I don't take it lightly whenever it comes to those things, and I've watched many people struggle with it heavily struggled with it myself and I don't like to see anybody going through those kinds of things and diminishing their life the quality of their life I should say and it also prevents you from being able to do exactly what this song is telling you to do which is daring to dream and daring to do that you're not going to be able to properly do all of those things whenever your headspace starts getting messed up from all of the drugs and the alcohol and everything. And if you have a mental health problem, that will also deteriorate your ability to think properly and stuff like that if it goes untreated and goes without proper help. So you gotta go get help for those things if you're going through it, man. I highly encourage that on here. It means the world to me that I'm able to get on here and encourage you guys to do that if you're struggling. So please don't hesitate to go get that professional help if it is something that you feel that you're going to need inside of your life to get better and live your best life we all deserve to have the ability to dare to dream so you got to pull yourself out of those things that are preventing you from being able to do that right you guys know what i mean i love you so much thank you for supporting my own recovery Thank you for building an awesome community and supporting each other. It means the world to me that we can do this on here. I appreciate you guys so much. Heidi, thank you again for this awesome request. We're going to get out of here. I'm Bacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.